Hello and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how you can use two features of the Oracle Developer Tools for Visual Studio. One called SQL Tuning Advisor and the other called Oracle Performance Analyzer. These tools help you tune your application's use of the SQL language, as well as tune your .NET application's use of the Oracle database under load. Now, if you'd like to follow along as I go through this video, you will need to install the Oracle Developer Tools for Visual Studio. You can get that from the Oracle.NET Developer Center at the URL on your screen. You will need to download and install the ODT with ODAC package. We do have a quick start video on our YouTube channel that can um, assist you with the installation. We support most of the recent Visual Studio versions and we support all Visual Studio editions except for Express Edition. You'll also need Oracle Database 10.2 or later. And we also have a walkthrough that will take you step by step through the demo that I'm going to do today. Uh, you can use the shortened link on, your, on the screen or you can go down into the video description to find a link down there. This walkthrough also includes the sample code that I will be tuning today in the video. So let's start out by talking about SQL Tuning Advisor. SQL Tuning Advisor is used when you're designing new SQL statements to be used with your application. So what you do is you open up the query window in Oracle Developer Tools for Visual Studio and you tune your ad hoc SQL statements there. Um, you can also tune bad SQL statements that are found by the Oracle Performance Analyzer, which we'll talk about in a minute. So the SQL Tuning Advisor uh, has a few requirements. First of all, you do need to have the advisor privilege. You also need to have the Oracle Database License for the Oracle Diagnostic Pack and the Oracle Tuning Pack. You run you run it by in going into the query window and pressing the Tune SQL button. Or if you're using Oracle Performance Monitor, you press the Tune SQL button there. So let's switch over to Visual Studio and do a demo of SQL Tuning Advisor. Okay, I'm in Visual Studio and I have an Oracle data provider for .NET application. Now unfortunately, the application is not performing well because a particular SQL statement that I have right here is not performing well. So what I want to do is run SQL Tuning Advisor on this SQL statement. So I connect in Server Explorer, I've installed Oracle Developer Tools for Visual Studio, and you can see that the data source has ODP.NET in it. This is very important. You won't be able to see these features if you don't see that. So I'll connect uh, as HR to my PDB RCL database. And once I'm in here, I will go ahead and cut and paste the uh, select statement and then um, open up the query window. Now I'll paste the select statement into the query window and I could execute it here of course, but what I really want to do is I want to press the blue wrench so that I can tune the SQL. So I'll press the blue wrench and it reminds me I need the tuning pack and diagnostic pack licenses. Okay, once it's done tuning, I have a couple different ways I can view the results. I can view it in this window here, or I can press the View Report button. Now, the report is a very nice uh, formatted document you can give to other members of your team. And uh, it includes, in this case, some findings about needing to create indexes on my tables. It also found that I had an expensive union operation in my select statement and it suggested potentially using union all. Now since you can give this document to, to team members like your DBAs, we've also included helpful information like the explain plan. Now another feature of the Oracle Developer Tools for Visual Studio is the Oracle Performance Analyzer. So this is a tool in Visual Studio that lets you detect performance issues in your application's use of the database while it's under load. 
So you will need to have SysDBA privileges to do this. And you'll also need to have the Oracle database license for the Oracle Diagnostic Pack. So you can use this when you're testing your application, but you can also use it to find performance problems with a production instance. Now the Oracle Performance Analyzer is easy to use. You simply connect to your database in Server Explorer as SysDBA. If you're using Oracle Multi-Tenant, you connect to the container. You run your application, you start Oracle Performance Analyzer, and you enter the amount of time to analyze. You need sufficient database time to get results, and that usually amounts to something like 30 minutes to two hours worth of runtime. You press start to start the timer, and when it's done, you view your findings and recommended actions. Uh, then you can implement those changes and run it again for additional recommendations. So let's go back to Visual Studio and see a demo of the Oracle Performance Analyzer in action. Okay, we're back in Visual Studio again, and this is the same application we were working on before. Now we've tuned the SQL, but the application itself is still performing poorly when under load. So to use SQL Performance Analyzer, we will first run the application in a tight loop. Next, I want to run Oracle Performance Analyzer. Now to do this, I need to be connected as a user with SysDBA privileges, and I need to use ODP.NET as the data source. So I'll connect to Sys, and I'll choose the SysDBA role. Now, since my database, PDB ORCL, is part of an Oracle 12C multi-tenant container database, I will connect to that container. But if you're using Oracle 10G or Oracle 11, you would just connect directly to the database. And now that we've connected, we can run Oracle Performance Analyzer. It's in a menu item hanging off of the connection node in Server Explorer. And it reminds us we need the Oracle Diagnostic Pack. Next, it brings up the Oracle Performance Analyzer main window. We need to tell it how long to run the analysis for. Depending on how extensively your application is using the database, you may need to run for 20 minutes up to several hours to get good results. Finally, I press the Start button and the countdown timer begins. And after the timer has elapsed, the results window is shown. So you can see I have several findings here. The two most interesting ones are hard parse due to literal usage and session connect and disconnect. The other two are probably side effects of those. So let's start with session connect and disconnect and take a look at the recommendation. It says I should investigate application logic for reduction of connect and disconnect calls. For example, you should use a connection pool in the middle tier. Okay, well, that's confusing because I thought I was using a connection pool. Let's take a look at the code. In my connection string, you can see I have connection lifetime equals one set. This effectively disables my connection pool, and that's my mistake. Now, let's take a look at the other interesting finding. Hard parse due to literal usage. And let's take a look at the recommendation for that. It says I should investigate application logic for possible use of bind variables instead of literals. So let's go take a look at the code and see if we can figure out what went wrong. Well, it turns out I am appending a literal value to the end of my WHERE clause in the SQL statement instead of using bind variables like you see in the commented out code there. That's a big no-no when it comes to performance. So thanks to Oracle Performance Analyzer, I can correct these mistakes, rebuild and rerun my application, and then run Performance Analyzer another time to make sure there's no other problems. And this concludes the video. So if you'd like to learn more about our .NET and Oracle products, please visit us at the URL at the top of your screen, follow us on Twitter, view some others of our YouTube videos, and please subscribe to my blog. Thank you very much.